Hi everyone, it's me, Nikki, and today I'm here with um, my wrap-up for February. Um, I've read Wonder Woman Volume 5 and 6. Technically I read 5 in January, but I'd already filmed a video, so... And then 6 is just a continuation. And, of course, you know, Wonder Woman continues to be an amazing badass, and etc, etc. Um, can't really tell you the plot without, like, spoilers, because they're so short type of thing. So, you know, but read them. They're very good. Um, next I read Every Heart and Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones uh, by Sean and McGuire, which I'm sure most people on booktube have heard about by now. They're just little short novellas set in the same world. So there's six out now, six or seven. And there might be more coming, I'm not sure. Um, it is about children, boys and girls, but mostly girls who um, find the doorway to their true homes. Not every child, but a lot of them. And then, for some reason, they are spit back out into the real world. And um, they have diff difficulty coping, so they go to this school that's run by Eleanor, who has her own door and understands. Um, and all the children at the school can't find their door. So... They can't go back in. And this first one's a murder mystery, which I thought was interesting. And this one is about uh, Jack and Jill from the first book and their world, which is like a creepy horror world, and how they got kicked out of it and ended up at the school. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading the next ones as well. Um, and next I have The Screaming Staircase by... Um, Jonathan Stroud, uh, no cover, so, <laughs> which is sad because the covers looked really good, actually. Um, this is book one of Lockwood and Co., and I would say it's for, um, like, upper middle grade, if that makes any sense. It's, like, middle grade, but not quite YA, but it is pretty, there's a bit of horror because there's ghosts in it. Um, there's a haunted house, and there's a creepy blood singing, which even I was like, oh god, that's creepy. So that's why I would say it's like upper YA, or upper middle grade. Um, there's like a teensy weensy bit of romance, but it's not. It's just basically hinted at, I think. Um, and this is an alternate timeline with ghosts, but I'm not sure. It's after World War II, but that's about the only way I can date it. Um, Leanne from Literary Diversions said to read it because it's one of her favorite series and I thought I'd try it and it's actually very, very good. Um, and the ghosts are only seen by kids. Um, they probably, they don't say, but I would say probably by like 18 is when you can stop seeing a ghost. So they're the ones who have to hunt the ghosts and get rid of them. So it's a pretty dangerous job. Um, there is Death of Children. Um, and they're only mentioned, but not ever, like, the, their death is never shown. So, yeah. But it's good, I, and the series is finished, so, oh, that got blurry. Um, the series is finished, so it should be pretty, um, easy to get all the books and finish them. Uh, next, I have The Five by Hallie Rubenhold, and it is just as good as everybody said it was. Um, it's about the women who were killed by Jack the Ripper, and it basically gets up to their deaths, and then skips over it, and then what happened afterwards. Um, they weren't all prostitutes. One definitely was, and maybe another woman was, but not 100% certain, or like, well, because they were all alcoholics, that was the only thing they had in common besides living in the same area, so it's 
I suppose it depends on your definition of prostitution. They needed money to get by and to buy alcohol, so whatever. But that is definitely, uh, they all lived in the same area, and they might have, like, even seen each other, and they were definitely all alcoholics, which, in my writer brain, makes it, like, a whole other reason for Jack to have killed them. Like, maybe he had a thing against, um, alcoholic m women. They weren't all mothers. I think only three of them were. Um, one woman could not have children, and, uh, almost nothing is known about Mary Kelly. Not where she came from, not who her family was, so hers is probably the shortest section. Um, there's domestic violence, there's your period typical sexism. Um, there, and all of the women were in their 40s, except for Mary Jane Kelly. I think that's why there's, like, um, was it the comic book that Johnny Depp turned into a movie? Where, um, they wanted to go after Mary Jane in particular, because she'd married the prince or whatever, um, and I think that's why people get that, because she was so different, like, there's nothing about her, and she's the youngest, and I guess the prettiest, whatever that means, so, it's just interesting, um, and it was also interesting, um, that all of them, except for Stride, uh, were asleep when Jack attacked them. So, uh, because Stride was seen in the middle of an argument with someone, and then, like, uh, they came back and found her murdered, and I think they're, that's the one, that's, she was part of the double event. So, she's not a Jack victim. Um, and honestly, I like the Jack the Ripper thing, but I've never cared who he was, like, that's not interesting to me. What is interesting to me is, like, why he did it, why these women in particular, like, like, if he wasn't going after prostitutes, why go after sleeping, women sleeping outside who were alcoholics? Like, that, that's the part that's interesting to me. I don't actually care who Jack was, and you're never going to find out anyway. But, yes, read this. Fantastic. It's great. Um, and then, finally, I read Nash blah, 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 blah. A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. Um, the first in the Lady Trent series. And it was excellent. I am stupid, though, because I thought it was based in our world, our Earth. And it just had dragons in it, but it's not. It's like a different world, but they still have elephants and ostriches and dragons. So that part threw me a little bit. Um, but it's good. Lady Trent is amazing. I believe she's only 19 in this um, part of her memoir. And she's still a badass. Um, there's a little mystery to solve with some dragons, and she is more than up to the challenge. Um, and, you know, it was just great. It was great, great, great. Um, there is a miscarriage of a baby. Uh, not early on, but like, yeah, I guess early on. So, but it's, uh... Not like, you know, it's just, because she's writing her own memoir, it's just stated that she miscarried, but that is, a tr that's in there if that triggers you. Um, there's obviously violence uh, to, towards dragons and from dragons. Um... 
And I think that's it. But yeah, it's a great little contained story. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next books. So, and I love, I just love the cover as well. So, ugh. I think that might be the dragon that's mainly in the book. They call them rock dragons, I think. And this might be the dragon that's mainly in the book. But yes, I en quite enjoyed it, um, and I liked um, Marie Brennan's um, take on dragons. Like, the dragon bones are fairly brittle, um, and they kill a dragon at some point, and they have to, and um, Lady Trent is uh, sketching it, and she has to move quickly because it just pff, disappears um, as they're working on it. Um, they can never, like, get skin samples or anything like that, so... Yes, I would definitely recommend this book. <sighs> and um, I also read... Let me bring up my little thing. I'm using... Um, G from Book Roast has a, uh, a... She calls it Caw Pile. It's characters, atmosphere, writing, plot, intrigue, logic, and enjoyment. That's just like a spreadsheet, basically, of all the books that you've read. Um... Or, you know, that you've DNF'd or whatever. So, I've also read uh, four ebooks from NetGalley, which I have done a video about. So, I'm not going to talk about them here, but it is The Forgotten Women, The Leaders, Not a Gentleman's Work, Rebel Spy, and Mad and Bad. Oh, and I also read The Ravine which I have not talked about yet, but that will be upcoming. So, that's what I read in February. Um, I'll be doing a book bracket showdown again, but without the NetGalley books, because that's not fair to see which book was my favorite of February. I think I already know the outcome. Um, and... Um, I also will be doing my March TBR as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.